Hi there, cool cats and kittens. Josh here with another US Cutter Quick Cuts, and today we're not gonna be talking about what we binge watched over the weekend, but today we're gonna be talking about Roland compatible blades and US Cutter blade holders. Let me clarify what I mean by that. Roland is a brand of vinyl cutters, yes, but the style of blade holders and blades that they developed are extremely cost effective and accurate. So many of our cutters and other cutters use Roland compatible blades. Uh, the blades are universal and will work with any type of cutter that is Roland compatible. Blade holders, on the other hand, are another story. Each blade holder is unique to its type of cutter. Let's take a look at these Laser Point 3 and Prism Cut blade holders when compared to each other. This part right here on the blade holder is what the cutter uses to lock it in place in the cutter arm. You can see from that point that this one is much shorter than the other, so it wouldn't work in the other. All US Cutter cutters like the MH, SC2, Laser Point 3, Titan 1, 2, and 3, and Prism Cut use Roland compatible blades. And the blade holders are all going to look and work similarly. You can push down on this button up top and it's going to make the blade pop out. And if you ever want to replace it, you just pull it and then pop a new blade in with whatever you like. To adjust the blade depth, you're going to unscrew it from the top and then adjust the nut right here and then start to screw it back in and by turning it to the right until it is stopped by the nut and that's how you adjust the blade depth. When it comes to the blades, they come in three standard sizes and types. You have your 30 degree blades, your 45 degree blades, and 60 degree blades. 30 degree blade is gonna be used for your thinnest materials, maybe your specialty film or something like that. You can use it successfully to cut Oracle 651, 631, and many other adhesive vinyls, but it's not gonna last as long as a 45 degree blade would. Your 45 degree blade is your general and all purpose blade. If you're mainly doing adhesive vinyl or HTV, its angle is great for cutting things up to eight mils thick. Anything thicker than that, like strip flock, glitter heat transfer vinyl, or sandblast mask, I personally will switch over to a 60 degree blade. The 60 degree blade penetrates the deepest and should only be used for your thicker materials like I just mentioned. The other things might be a little bit too much like a 45 or 30 degree blade. I also like to use the 60 degree blade when I'm cutting smaller or more detailed images. We have this picture posted on some pages on our website, but you can see how you have a larger edge area with the 60 degree blade and combined with reducing the speed, this can be extremely helpful when cutting lines or objects that are gonna be very small and detailed or very close to each other. Not using the right blade will lead to wasted materials, so always make sure you have the right one loaded for each type of material you're going to cut. Finally, let's talk about these premium blades. We've got the Green Star premium blades that I've shown in here, and then we have the Clean Cut premium blades. The Green Star Premium Blades only come in standard sizes like 30 degree, 45 degree, and 60 degree blade sets. But the Clean Cut Blades offer specialty blades as well as the 30 degree, 45 degree, and 60 degree blades. The specialty blades are going to be for things like glitter and magnetic sheets. Premium Blades come in their own individual box and will have a little note on the side informing you to reduce your cutting pressure by about 50% when using it. Make sure you follow those instructions or you're going to end up with something like this. These premium blades are also much larger and made with finer materials, so you're going to get about three times the life out of a premium blade compared to one of these normal ones. You can also see the size difference clearly right here. And whenever switching a blade or any materials, always make sure to perform a test cut. Your blade pressure and depth settings need to be correct before you perform a cut, so it's always a good habit to do a test cut before every time. That about covers today's quick cuts. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you hit that like button or subscribe for more content. If you have any sales related questions, be sure to contact our sales team by email at sales at uscutter.com. Every item that we sell comes with lifetime support and you can contact our support team at support at uscutter.com. Thank you again so much for watching. Have yourself a wonderful day. Take care.